Okay, so now we're going to look at some higher level questions on fractions. These, if you're doing the lower paper, you don't need to worry about this section. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at recurring decimals. So this is a decimal that goes on forever, but is recurring. So like a third is a recurring decimal, because a third is 0 0.3333, and it goes on forever. The way we denote those is we just say 0 0.3. Okay, we just did a little dot over the top. So, we're going to look at these and how to turn these into a fraction. So, the first example, I'll use two thirds. We'll do 0.66 recurring. Okay. So, we're going to do 0.6 recurring. Okay, so what we need to do to get this to a fraction, we'll times it by 10. Okay, so first step. We'll times this one by 10. Because only goes to one, only one decimal place is recurring. So we'll times it by 10. That gives us 6.6 .6 recurring. Okay? So that's 10. Now, 9, okay? 9 would just be 10 minus the 1. So 9 would just equal. Nine lots of it would just equal, so tell me why nine would just equal the 10, which is 6.6 .6 recurring, minus the one, which is 0 0.6 recurring. So nine lots of it would just equal six. Okay, nine lots of it would just equal six. So if we call that Nine x, so nine lots, nine times it is six, and one lot will just equal six divided by nine. And that should cancel down. Let's see. Yes, it does. Three goes into both of those. Three goes into six twice. Three goes into nine three times. So we can see, zero point six recurring. We've just written it as a fraction. We've written it as two thirds. Yes, we knew that straight away but we prove it. Now let's do that with a slightly more complicated example. Let's do 0 0.23 recurring. So both the 2 and the 3 are going to go. It's still 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. This time we're going to need to times by something a bit more, aren't we? We need to times by 10, 100. So, this time we're going to have to find out what times 100 equals. And it will be 23.23. Okay? So, again, what does times 99 equal? It's going to equal 23. Okay? So, we're going to see our fraction again is going to be 23 over 99. If there's anything going to both of those, it certainly does, 23 is a prime number, so nothing's going to divide into 23. So that gives us our final answer, which is 23 divided by 99. So one more example. Uh, we'll look at 2. Point one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So again, we're going to need to times by what this time? 10, 100, 1,000. So we actually need to times by 1,000. Okay, so that's going to give us 2, 1, 2, 3. Point one, two. Okay, slight difference this time, we've got that 2, 1, 2, 3. So now we're going to do 999 this time. Now, obviously the 1, 2, 3 is going to go, but also we're going to have to take 2 off. So we're actually going to get 2, 1, 2, 1. Yeah? We're going to get 2, 1, 2, 1. So we're going to find that the answer is 2, 1, 2, 1.
over 999. Now obviously this is an improper fraction, there's a bigger number on the top than the bottom. So how many times do 999 go into 2,121? Well, we can see that 2 times 999 gives us 1998. So we're going to go any more times than that. So, what's our remainder? So we know it's 2 and something. Okay, what's our remainder? How do I get from there to 1? It's going to be 123. So it's going to be... 2 and 123 over 999. And it's that simple. Have a go at the questions in the booklet, and I'll see you for the next lesson.